So I thought I was done talking about my own personal issues with content locked behind Amiibo. At least for a while, because Nintendo doesn't lock significant content behind Amiibo often, and I thought, you know, we're probably not going to talk about this again until maybe Super Mario Odyssey, and then after that, who knows, probably not again until some Switch game in 2018. And I was fine with that, because the topic is kind of redundant in a way. But Nintendo was personally asked about the Amiibo issue in Metroid Samus Returns and how some people don't like the idea that one of the hardest difficulty modes in the game is locked behind an Amiibo that currently is sold out and we all know Nintendo's history with Amiibo. You probably won't be able to get your hands on it outside of buying from a scalper for months if not a year or two from now if Nintendo even does more runs of it in the first place because not every single Amiibo has always been restocked at all. So... I mean, <laughs> give you a prime example, I still don't own the Zelda, Zelda 30th Anniversary Amiibo because they've never been restocked since they came out. And I understand those might have been limited run, but uh, yeah, they're Anniversary Amiibo, come on. Anyways, so US Gamer decided to ask Nintendo to clarify about stuff at a preview event. Here is, is what happened. This was written by Matt Kim over at usgamer.net. And he says, At a preview event for Metroid Samus Returns, Nintendo finally clarified Amiibo support for the game, especially with regards to how hard mode will work in the game. As it turns out, this probably was a case where better communication could have cleared up the whole problem. <sighs> okay, so Nintendo's clarifying. This is good. Maybe things aren't as bad as I thought. All right. Here is how the rest of this piece goes. Here's the lowdown of what Nintendo told US Gamer. When I asked Nintendo representatives at the preview event if hard mode was locked behind Amiibos, they were clear to make the distinction. Fusion mode, they corrected me. Yes, fusion mode, which will give players access to Samus' fusion suit as well as a more challenging difficulty in the game is indeed locked behind the Metroid Amiibo. This content will not be offered as separate DLC in Nintendo's digital eShop. However, there will be a standard hard mode that will be unlockable once players complete the game on regular difficulty. This mode, which is confusingly separate from the Fusion mode's harder difficulty, is said to be harder than the standard difficulty, but not as hard as, the, as that found in the Fusion mode. It was previously reported that Amiibo tie-in for Metro's Returns unlock hard mode for the game. In fact, purchasing the Amiibo would be the only way for players to access the Fusion Mode content, making it a mandatory accessory if players want to access everything Samus Returns has to offer. This is still the case. Only Nintendo failed to explain that Fusion Mode difficulty is separate from a standard hard mode. Okay. Let's just think about this for a moment. Metroid Samus Returns does have a hard mode when you beat the game. If you want the hardest difficulty in the game, however, you need an amiibo. Uh, this is almost similar to Breath of the Wild in that Master Mode is the hardest mode in the game. But you can make it even harder with the Ganon amiibo if you want. You can increase damage again. And that's fine. Whatever. But that's not what this is. This isn't like a double damage thing. This is an entirely new mode. So essentially, this is the way I view it. You have Normal Mode. And then you have your medium settings, or your, your hard mode, and then you have your extreme, very hard mode. That's what this sounds like. This doesn't make me feel better. Uh, the fact that the Nintendo wants to clarify, it's fusion mode, it's not hard mode. But hey, by the way, it's more difficult than hard mode. It's like, really? So, if it's, yes, there's a harder difficulty you can unlock in the game, but it's not as hard as the difficulty you can get from the Amiibo. So still, the hardest difficulty in Metroid Samus Returns is still locked behind an Amiibo. And it's just funny how Nintendo is like, no, don't call it hard mode. Don't, don't. It's not. It's fusion mode. It's harder than hard mode, but it's not hard mode. Come on. Nintendo, you don't really think people are that stupid, do you? Uh, 
the complaints I had about this still stand. Just because there's another difficulty mode between <laughs> between standard mode and the hardest difficulty in the game doesn't change the fact that the hardest difficulty in the game is locked behind an amiibo that people cannot get their hands on. Uh, and I know someday maybe I'll have less complaints because I'm a member of the media and they might start sending me amiibo and that's fine, but I still don't have the general complaint because my, my friend can't get it. Uh, no one can get... Uh, it's just... This is just a really frustrating situation, and it's weird how uh, you know, Matt Kim is kind of suggesting here in this piece that if there was better communication, it could have cleared up the whole problem. Well, this is better communication, and it doesn't clear up anything. It's exactly what we thought it was. We just now know that there's an extra difficulty mode in between. Uh, having that extra difficulty mode in between and calling it hard mode doesn't change the fact that fusion mode is harder than that. And Nintendo told him the fusion mode's harder than hard mode. So, oh man. This is just this is just a mess. Um and maybe they think they can get away with this because it's a remaster or a recreation of an older game. I don't know. And as I said, Breath of the Wild kind of sort of dabbles in this because if you really want the hardest difficulty, you should really want the Ganon amiibo in addition to you know, <laughs> in addition to master mode, but uh Still, at least like master mode, you could it was was attainable via a digital purchase, and the double damage aspect uh, isn't necessarily a difficulty mode in the game per se. Uh, <laughs> fusion mode is an entirely new difficult. Oh, oh, sorry, I'm making all this background noise over here. I am so frustrated. Um, let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below because this is just baffling to me and how like oh no no don't call it this don't call it this remember it's fusion mode it's not hard mode but it's harder than hard mode so shh shh yes you need the amiibo by the way oh man nintendo 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 your clarifications don't help the situation it's still exactly what we thought it was Anyways, folks, I'm Nathaniel Ruffle Jans from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. If you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more videos like this. And as always, folks, I will catch you in the next one.